Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome to the lecture on modeling considerations for inclusion removal in Tundis. So, uh, we discussed about the various aspects uh, uh, the way Tundis performs and uh, one of the important uh, you know work that uh, is desired uh, from Tundis is the inclusion removal. Uh, as we know that uh, in the continuous casting process. Uh, the ladle will be uh, delivering the uh, steel to tundis and then from tundis it will go to the mold. So, basically uh, when you have uh, you know if this is the ladle and then uh, from here it will be going to the tundis. So, you know this is your tundis and uh, then from here it will be going to uh, different molds. So, uh, basically uh, you know the inclusions uh, uh, may be there uh, in the uh, tundis that may come from the ladle uh, that may be formed also uh, because of the uh, reaction products that may be formed because of the uh, erosion from the uh, you know tundis lining. So, there may be uh, you know different reasons uh, uh, you know because of which uh, the, there may will be inclusions that will uh, be there in the uh, tundis. Now, the thing is that uh, uh, tundis uh, needs to be taken care of, I mean uh, tundis needs to take care of the inclusion in the way that if this is the last reservoir, uh, after that if the tundis uh, you know if, if that inclusions in the tundis goes through this outlet and in the mold, then it is likely that it will uh, go into the cast product and that will be. Uh, you know permanent uh, uh, damage basically that uh, that will be uh, basically leading to the rejection of the uh, product. So, uh, this is the uh, last reservoir and that is why it is uh, function becomes very important that uh, it should remove the uh, inclusions from here. Now, uh, as we know that uh, the inclusions uh, uh, you know uh, will be of uh, Normally, they will be of uh, lighter density than the uh, you know uh, than the steel, and uh, they will have very fine sizes. So, in the you know, micrometer ranges, uh, you know their sizes uh, will be varying. So, they need so basically uh, it is uh, to be understood uh, uh, that uh, what are those mechanisms, what are those uh, theory which will govern the uh, removal tendency of the inclusion or the flotation tendency of the inclusion because this inclusions you know uh, depending upon the flow configuration inside the tundis uh, they will be uh, it will be desirable that they float towards the uh, top free surface and on the top free surface uh, they are likely to be trapped because you have a slag layer. So, that may uh, trap these inclusions. So, that is uh, most likely else you know uh, they may go and stick to the walls also depending upon you know conditions uh, which is uh, prevailing inside the uh, tundis. So, basically uh, you know being uh, lighter in, you know than the um, uh, liquid which is there inside it will be subjected to the buoyancy and uh, that uh, force will be acting on it. So, uh, they will have the tendency to float up that is what we uh, discussed in our last class also that uh, that uh, you know gravitational effect and, and the buoyancy effect will be uh, very much applicable in these cases. Uh, then uh, you know uh, so you will have uh, uh, basically uh, the the way the on, on the inclusions so one will be forced because of the velocity uh, of the existing liquid which is there and in that it is there is 
uh, you know these particles. So, because of that uh, fluid velocity component of the fluid, another will be uh, because of the uh, rise velocity of the uh, you know uh, uh, this uh, inclusion. So, there are two components which will be responsible for uh, you know it is uh, you know uh, for, for the uh, so they will be interacting each other they will be interacting on the inclusion particle and accordingly you know uh, in a resultant manner the uh, inclusion will move inside the domain and then uh, either uh, they may uh, go through the um, you know uh, turn this outlet or uh, we will feel that we will it will be desirable that it goes uh, towards the top free surface. So, uh, we will talk about it now why it is so that is why uh, we need to uh, do the modeling of this we need to also develop the similarity criteria for that. Uh, we need to know the you know uh, the um, uh, you know uh, parameters which uh, are of significance how we should take the you know density or uh, uh, you know how the uh, uh, depending upon the scale factors how you know these inclusion removal uh, tendency can be predicted or can be modeled using water modeling or even mathematical modeling. So, that needs to be uh, you know uh, studied and there needs to be uh, you know some concept uh, on this uh, topic. So, uh, if you uh, talk about uh, you know the uh, uh, studies of inclusions. So, what happens that uh, you know inclusions uh, you will have the normally the non metallic inclusions and they will be varying in uh, sizes and uh, also that can be modeled by the water modeling technique also you know uh, uh, we can do in our uh, uh, laboratories where we make the perspex uh, you know uh, tundis uh, tundis from perspex sheets and uh, there also we can uh, think of having uh, these inclusion particles uh, as uh, you know uh, either these uh, polyethylene uh, particles or so or maybe uh, vinyl silane or so that has been reported uh, by the researchers that these particles are used and uh, they have also uh, size ranges. So, that can be used for the uh, study and uh, people uh, can uh, you know inject it uh, in the form of so so the simulation of the removal of uh, inclusions in uh, water model has been carried out with different particles in the uh, size range of 20 to 150 microns so that is uh, reported in the uh, the book uh, written by sahai and emi and they have reported that uh, they have uh, uh, you know done also they have they have also done these uh, simulations and uh, there they have uh, uh, you know uh, varied those uh, uh, size ranges from 20 to 150 microns. Now, in that uh, they have uh, either given the continuous injection of these particles or maybe the pulse injection the purpose is that uh, when they go inside uh, you know their uh, uh, path will be tracked normally we also make it of different colors so that you can visualize. Uh, the movement of uh, uh, these inclusions and uh, uh, you know either there may be uh, a pulse injection or uh, the continuous type of injection of these uh, uh, you know particles. Then uh, we need to know that what will be the uh, you know uh, similarity criteria for this appropriate simulation of the collisions and flotation behavior of non metallic inclusions in tundices. So, that has been proposed by even Sahai and Remy and uh, basically what happens that uh, there is a collision of uh, the inclusion particles is also important uh, because they collise they become bigger and then they float. So, uh, because the that uh, tendency also depends upon the size of the inclusion. So, uh, you know so, so for that you have the uh, different uh, criteria that needs to be you know understood and especially as we discussed that uh, uh, we need to uh, start from uh, that velocity of fluid for the model uh, for the prototype uh, similarly velocity of the rise you know that is terminal rise velocity with which, which it is assumed to you know uh, go up these inclusions uh, inside the uh, domain. 
so that rise velocity. So, if you are doing for uh, you know the water modeling, so you have the fluid as water, if you do for the steel you will have the fluid is steel. So, you have inclusions uh, uh, maybe uh, for the prototype and for uh, even for the model. So, then uh, the density difference, what should be those density differences, what should be the size differences, all these things uh, and what is its bearing on the uh, you know inclusion uh, you know flotation behavior or inclusion removal mechanism uh, that uh, we will try to understand. So, uh, the uh, normally these uh, non metallic inclusions which we take uh, you know uh, they are uh, lighter than the uh, molten steel which is found in the uh, steel and, and they will be uh, once they go inside then uh, you know uh, you will they are and also they have the varying sizes. So, uh, and also uh, they will be rising with uh, the uh, Stokes velocity. So, these non metallic inclusions. So, they uh, rise with Stokes velocity. So, it is just assumed uh, that uh, they uh, rise with this uh, absolute uh, velocity. So, you have uh, the velocity of the fluid also and then you have the uh, rise velocity. So, if you talk about uh, the velocity of the uh, fluid and, and in the uh, prototype, so we call it as velocity of fluid in the prototype that is uh, in the prototype term this. Similarly, you will have the uh, velocity of the rise in the uh, prototype term this. Similarly, velocity of fluid in the model and you will have velocity of rise in the uh, model. So, uh, you know, so this uh, you will have the uh, uh, similarity of uh, particle trajectories that is what uh, you would like to you know uh, get. So, uh, you would like to have the simulation in such a way that the similarity of trajectories is also uh, found and for that a condition needs to be satisfied and that is that V you know F m upon V f p. So, that should be uh, same as V R m upon V R p. So, basically uh, velocity of the uh, fluid uh, you know and that is uh, uh, you know that uh, and, and that that is uh, uh, within the fluid. So, uh, that uh, and uh, uh, so inclusion will be carried with this uh, uh, fluid velocity. So, that is V f m and then uh, you know V f p. So, that is for the prototype. So, this ratio should be same as uh, for the uh, rise uh, velocity uh, for model as well as the uh, prototype. So, uh, you know uh, you will have uh, furthermore certain assumptions and uh, you will be uh, assuming that there will be Reynolds as well as the uh, fraud similarity criteria being uh, satisfied and uh, you will be going uh, for a reduced uh, scale you know uh, model. And, uh, then uh, what you see that uh, uh, you will uh, try to you have uh, uh, to uh, go for the appropriate uh, material uh, of the inclusion which should be taken as uh, the inclusion uh, material for the model. Because uh, for the prototype you know and uh, you also know the uh, liquid that is uh, steel. So, from there you know the uh, changes in the density of the inclusion as well as of the medium. Similarly, when you know the uh, density of the uh, you know working fluid in water modeling that is water, then uh, accordingly you can uh, have uh, uh, you know you can have a thinking of or over what should be the uh, you know uh, particle which should be taken for the uh, water modeling studies. Similar will be the size considerations. So, what should be the, the size of uh, those particles that should be you know maintained and uh, so that these uh, you know criterions are uh, satisfied. So, uh, if you take uh, you know a reduced uh, scale uh, you know experiment. So, for a reduced scale experiment. So, uh, you know so, you based on these uh, fraud similarity uh, assumption. 
So, what you see in these cases you get uh, V m will be uh, you know V p into uh, root lambda. So, that is what uh, we have earlier seen that when you maintain this fraud similarity you will have the velocity uh, in the uh, model that will be uh, uh, under, I mean under root lambda times. So, that will be uh, the V p. Similarly, your if you take the uh, length uh, you know so L m it will be lambda times uh, L p. So, that is uh, what uh, you see when you go for the uh, fraud similarity you know uh, in those cases. Now, uh, what we do initially we in this study uh, they have uh, uh, it has been reported that uh, the density uh, you know uh, the uh, density ratio that is uh, uh, for the inclusion which is taken for the water modeling. So, density ratio between that uh, inclusion to the water. So, uh, it was uh, you know uh, uh, taken. So, it should have the uh, same density ratio and uh, also about the uh, size. So, uh, you know size also appropriately if you talk about it, the idealized uh, you know condition. Uh, size should be uh, as per the uh, you know uh, the geometric similarity. So, it should be reduced by a factor of uh, lambda, but then uh, you you have uh, uh, to have uh, the analysis for that. So, uh, if you try to have uh, you know uh, the uh, you know same rate of flotation or uh, removal of the inclusions in that case your uh, ratio of velocities that is that needs to be uh, same. So, you, you need to have that uh, ratio of velocities due to bulk flow in model as well as in prototype. So, that basically uh, you know uh, that, that uh, needs to be uh, maintained. So, uh, so for that uh, uh, what we do is uh, if you talk about the uh, bulk flow liquid bulk flow. So, you will have V f m upon uh, V f p. So, that will be as we know that uh, the uh, velocity will be uh, basically having the ratio root lambda. So, uh, you if you talk about the uh, you know uh, uh, Stokes rise velocity for the inclusions. So, uh, for the water and for the uh, you know uh, for the prototype it is uh, said to be. So, for uh, the uh, for the warm uh, you know uh, for the water that is in the uh, model tundis you will have uh, 2 into r inclusion model and uh, that is uh, square and then uh, you will have uh, the multiplication with g and then you have rho of water minus rho of uh, inclusion that is of in the model and divided by 9 of uh, you know eta water. So, that is your uh, you know v the uh, r m that is uh, Stokes rise velocity and that is for the model and similarly uh, the the v for the uh, prototype for that uh, rise velocity. So, that will be can be taken as equal to 2 r that is inclusion of prototype that is square. So, that is for the alumina or whatever inclusions uh, we have. Then again multiplied by g into rho of steel minus rho of inclusion in the prototype and divided by 9 of eta steel. So, uh, you know for the uh, similarity and, and for the same trajectory you know these uh, uh, ratios the, what we obtain uh, you know uh, that uh, should be same. And uh, if you uh, try to uh, do that so what we uh, get so you will have uh, the V R M divided by uh, V R P it should be same as the V f m by V f p that is uh, under root lambda. So, it should be under root lambda and it should be it will be same as. So, once you uh, you know take the expression uh, of uh, from that earlier um, you know uh, expression. So, uh, if you take the ratio, so it will be r of inclusion of model 
and that will be a square divided by r of inclusion of uh, prototype that is square and then you will have the terminology 1 minus rho inclusion uh, you know model by rho w divided by 1 minus rho inclusion uh, prototype by rho steel. So, that is what uh, uh, this ratio is uh, coming. Now, uh, if we take this uh, rho inclusion uh, model by uh, rho inclusion uh, uh, you know water. Uh, so, if these ratios are taken same in that case uh, they will be same. So, you will have 1 by 1. So, you will have uh, you know uh, this uh, radius can be expressed as in the form of the uh, scale factor. So, basically it will be lambda raised to the power 1 by 4. So, that r uh, in, uh, inclusion for the model will be lambda raised to the power 1 by 4 times r inclusion uh, that is for the prototype. So, then you can have the selection of the uh, inclusion sizes uh, you know accordingly. So, uh, so that is what is it came. So, if you are considering uh, you know rho inclusion uh, model by rho uh, water is same as rho inclusion uh, you know uh, prototype by rho steel. In that case uh, your uh, thing becomes like uh, r uh, you know inclusion uh, model. So, that is square and divided by r inclusion prototype. So, that is square. So, that will be uh, you know equal to uh, it is nothing but again you can have the diameter. So, normally we uh, define in terms of diameter. So, you can write again uh, diameter inclusion of model by diameter of inclusion of uh, the prototype. So, the, the squares and that will be as uh, under root lambda. So, you can write. So, if you take the again square root on both the sides you can say that r inclusion of the model it will be basically lambda times 0 0.25 and then you will have uh, uh, you know uh, r inclusion of uh, the uh, prototype. So, this uh, you know uh, relationship indicates that if you do the water modeling in those cases or even the uh, modeling uh, uh, using the you know mathematical uh, uh, formulation. So, basically for maintaining that uh, uh, you know similarity if you, you use those uh, if you are to eyeing towards the similarity uh, you know establishment. So, in that case if the uh, you know if the density ratio is uh, same in that case the uh, you know uh, ratio uh, this uh, radius of the inclusion will be lambda to the power 0 0.25 times. Uh, so, R inclusion uh, for the prototype. So, suppose you are uh, going had to have the uh, modeling for the inclusion uh, using the water modeling and your inclusion uh, is uh, and, and you are having a uh, one third scale of uh, the uh, you know water model. In that case lambda will be 1 by 3 and it is uh, power 0 0.25. So, if you take uh, once it is square it will be close to 0.55 and another time it will take. So, something close to 0.76. So, for a one third scale model the inclusion of uh, the model uh, its size should be uh, about 0.76 times the diameter of the uh, you know uh, uh, inclusion in the steel. So, that tells you the relationship between the uh, steel inclusion and the inclusion uh, uh, particle which you are eyeing to have the simulation using the uh, or the modeling using the water modeling approach. Now, it may be so that uh, sometimes this uh, rho inclusion. Uh, so, these uh, their density ratios may not be the same. So, that uh, may be different. So, if uh, you know if, if, so if uh, your uh, you know rho inclusion of uh, the model by rho inclusion of 
you know uh, the rho of w is not same as rho inclusion of uh, pro prototype divided by rho steel. Now, in that case if you uh, look to you know this equation if this is uh, not uh, the same. So, what you will get you will get uh, r inclusion you know uh, model by r inclusion of uh, prototype. So, uh, that will be basically lambda raised to the power 0 0.25 because it will be getting uh, the uh, you know uh, square root on both the sides and you will have uh, 1 minus again the same thing rho inclusion uh, you know prototype divided by uh, rho steel and divided by 1 minus rho inclusion you know model by rho water and then you get raised to the power point uh, 0.5 that is what uh, you know you can have uh, this one. So, this will go to that side. So, that will be uh, reversed. So, uh, that will come down for the model and uh, you know for the uh, for the model it will be down and for the prototype it will be up. So, that way uh, you can have uh, this expression that is uh, uh, rho. Uh, so, then you can have the uh, this uh, uh, rho uh, radius of the inclusion for the model and, and for the prototype that will be the kind of the correlationship. So, you can have even a uh, you know uh, the, um, the graph also being plotted and uh, uh, that graph will tell the uh, you know relationship between the uh, the uh, inclusion in the water model and in the uh, steel. So, that can be you know uh, obtained and, and that has also been obtained by SI and ME and it was uh, seen that uh, you know if you look at the if uh, your this is your uh, model inclusion size. So, that is your dm uh, the inclusion m and this will be d inclusion you know uh, P. So, that is for the prototype. Uh, so, in that case if your uh, you know lambda is uh, becoming you know if you have the different lambda and uh, uh, you will have. Uh, so, if you take the uh, lambda as the 1. So, uh, you can have uh, you know for from the earlier expression which we uh, got here. So, these uh, uh, depending upon the different value of the scale factor you can have the relationship between the uh, uh, diameter of the uh, inclusion which is used in the uh, water model and in, in the uh, prototype tundis that is in the steel uh, uh, you know tundis. So, uh, for lambda equal to 1 as you see it will be uh, the, uh, the slope of 1. So, it is basically uh, it will be the same uh, uh, graph and uh, I mean uh, this is this line and uh, you may have uh, the different uh, you know values like if you go for the other values. So, uh, suppose uh, maybe for uh, lambda is uh, 2 by 3 here then you will have lambda is 1 by 2 or so. So, this way your uh, this relationship can be removed uh, can be uh, presented. Similarly, uh, it has also been uh, you know uh, shown that if you take this ratio as a uh, parameter. So, if you take uh, the ratio uh, you know uh, like uh, if you take 1 minus uh, rho inclusion uh, p uh, by uh, rho steel and, and divided by 1 minus rho inclusion model by rho water. So, if you uh, take this uh, as uh, one parameter. So, you can have uh, you know uh, a um, you know um, and also if you uh, take this uh, rho inclusion by uh, rho steel. So, in that case uh, uh, you know if you take certain values. So, you can have uh, now in the in this case if you know uh, uh, some of this value. So, you can have the, the value of this uh, if you know the lambda and even you can have a generalized graph which may show the uh, size you know uh, relationship between the uh, model sizes of the uh, inclusion. So, you will have uh, d inclusion m and then, then you will have uh, d inclusion of the prototype. 
So, in that case for uh, the particular value of y uh, you know or gamma you can say this is y gamma. So, this uh, for that you will have uh, uh, different kind of uh, you know uh, so you will have 0 to 250 micrometer and similarly you will have 0 to uh, 200 micrometer. So, in that case uh, you will have a graph like uh, this will be gamma equal to 1 similarly that will be gamma equal to 2 and it has been reported like uh, uh, this will be uh, gamma for 3. So, so accordingly you know for different uh, conditions you will have different type of uh, you know uh, these graphs by which uh, depending upon the value of gamma you can predict the uh, diameter of the uh, inclusion which can be taken for uh, water modeling if you uh, know the diameter of the uh, you know inclusion which is used in the steel. So, uh, we will have to uh, uh, we will have to further see that uh, when we do the mathematical modeling analysis in that case you will have uh, uh, you know these considerations as well as some other considerations uh, to be kept in mind uh, as far as the uh, you know uh, boundary conditions are there or the uh, you know other uh, you know operating conditions. So, that uh, we can discuss and see the results on you know uh, the some of the case studies which has been uh, carried out. So, that can be done in our uh, coming lectures. Thank you very much.